Hey guys, I want to do a really quick video today here on how to select the parent game object of an object in your script from here. So what do I, what do I mean by that? Well, sometimes when I'm doing game development, or sometimes when I was first learning game development here, I might have something like public um, enemy, I'm going to call this enemy for now here. And basically, I spelled that wrong, enemy, enemy, enemy. I have this script called enemy from here, it's an empty script, and I can get a reference to that. And in my scene here, we have a bunch of these enemies from here, right? Now remember, there's kind of two layers of, of abstraction with Unity. I have objects, which you are like a script. Like one instance of a class would be an object. And I have game objects. And game objects are stuff in scene here, right? So this enemy script, this would be an example of an object. But the thing over here, this would be a game object from here. So if I say, let's go back to Game Manager. If I drag in this first enemy to this right here, right? That works because this game object has an enemy object living on it there, right? Now the problem is if I say something like, you know, enemy, enemy dot destroy, or I'm sorry, destroy enemy, the problem is it's only going to destroy that object. It's not going to destroy the game object in scene here, which means that if I have stuff like a sprite render, if I have different things living on this game object, the thing's not going to be gone from the scene here. And let me show you what I mean by that. I'm actually going to get rid of all of these from here in a second. Once that loads here, just to make things a little easier. So keep your eye on enemy from here. So we have a reference to it here. And if I say destroy, like we saw in the script, we'll see that it gets rid of that there, but this game object still persists in scene here. And like I said, that can be an issue if you have a sprite renderer, if you have different components living on this game object from here, that might be an issue. So how do I select the parent game object of an object, right? So how do I go one step up? I have the enemy. How do I go from enemy to game object? Well, it's actually pretty easy. All I have to do is say enemy dot game object. So it's going one step up there. I'm going to save this. And if we go back to our inspector, keep your eye on the enemy right here we can see that now the, the parent game object gets destroyed from that, right? So now if you guys learned something, be sure you give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. And really the main thing you're looking for from here to compress two minutes, two and a half minutes into just a second here is have the object dot game object. That's gonna select the game object that the object is attached to. A little bit of, a, little bit of a tongue twist there, but hopefully that makes sense. If you guys learned something, be sure you give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.